attention all angels, gods, and all the ancestors, and all the powers that be, and all the international authorities globally. Thank you for bringing to memory that silence is acquiescence, and that we are to do unto others as we have others do unto us, as per the Bible. As such, it appears that there is an entity or entities that seem to be hurting himself, their selves. As such, he has, they have decided to try and hurt innocent people globally. Hence, our lives have been placed in jeopardy. As per the people's lives have been placed in jeopardy. We require an advocate. We require a guidage. As such, we now command all Internal Revenue Service agents, Attention Office of William J. Wilkins, 1111 Constitution Avenue, Washington, D.C., in parentheses 20224, as per this public affidavit. It appears we are being subject to said court claim by the said entities. We are not here to enter a plea, however, we are here to settle this matter. As such, we do not wish to be a party to any tax fraud. As it appears, this party may owe said taxes. They created by making said claims on us all globally. As such, as per all served prior, now and this public affidavit, we command you speak to all the Federal Bureau investigation heads and all the antitrust department heads and all the fraud department heads and all the Department of Justice heads to get the entities involved, names, address, telephone numbers, EIN numbers, foreign registration statements and anti-bribery statement, along with their tax exempt letter from the Secretary of State in Puerto Rico. As it appears that this tax matter now requires um, this agent to pay all said taxes, these agents to pay all said taxes owed to the Internal Revenue Service. As such, have them fill out the 1040 and the 1099-C and the 1099-OID and the W-2 and the W-9 and any other tax forms required to do a full, full audit on each and every one of them involved in this tax fraud matter. See if any of these entities owe any pass to taxes on any other entities they have created claims on globally. As such, use one's nine billion international bills of exchange. As per the Form 56, I authorize Stephen Menunchin and Elvira Carranza to be the fiduciary trustees in this said instant and make available now to all entities globally, internationally, to do a full investigation on said matter at once, as stated above. Once you have found out all the information, have collected all the taxes owed, I command you to distribute said to all the names called by these said entities unlawfully without the people's authorization or consent. Have these entities send us the contracts with our red ink signatures, whereby allowing them to commit defamation of character, identity theft, trespass, intellectual property theft, ETC, racketeering, human trafficking, war crimes against humanity, apartheid, treason, fraud. In this insurance scheme, fraudulent concealment of language, bank fraud, double dipping, identity theft, Use the duty to accommodate us all who are made disables, disabled and all of us who are nationals as American Indian Moorish American nationals this night. Serve to all the parties involved. Mr. John Anthony Barrasso doing business as Indian head for the Indian Affairs Senator doing business as Senator in Wyoming. Find out 
globally who these entities work for and do they work for any said corporations here or elsewhere. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Noble Honorable Ange L. Ina D. Alfred L. All rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth and by my dead husband, Steve Anthony Jackson, as per copyright number 00067587-1. Use said copyright instrument this night to go and collect all on our behalf, right? Once you collect all for said trespass, infringement, identity theft, go and distribute it to all the people they have affected. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.